Let's take a look at some of the basic commands I might use as I create a drawing. I'll begin by looking at layers. Layers allow you to organize objects in your drawing. You can group similar objects so you can easily turn them off or on for displaying and printing. And you can lock layers to prevent unwanted changes. I'll undock the layers palette to make it easier to see. This is where you create and manage your layers. I'm going to add a new layer called Objects to this drawing. Now I'll double click to make it the current layer so the objects I draw are added to it automatically. I'll start drawing using the line command. Typically when you start a command you'll be prompted to input a value or specify an option. The input expected is displayed as a prompt in the command line and as a tooltip near the cursor if dynamic input is turned on. I'll turn dynamic input off for now. To indicate the first point in my line, I'll click in the drawing area. Now I'm prompted for the next point. I'll drag the cursor and click again. The line command continues to prompt for additional points until I end the command. To end the command, I can press Escape, Enter, or the space bar, or choose Enter from the command shortcut menu. To control drawing precision, I can choose from a variety of drafting aids. For example, ortho mode constrains me to vertical and horizontal lines as I draw. I'll turn ortho mode off again. Object snaps, also known as O-snaps, allow me to easily place new objects in relation to existing objects. I'll use the Endpoint Object Snap to connect a new line to the endpoint of an existing line I've drawn. The Auto Snap Marker makes it easy to know which object snap is being used.